good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time you're watching thank you for joining us again today on another controversial topic we hope you have tightened up your seat belts very well because this bus will be changing gear anyhow we don't intend to take much of your time today but i just want us to discuss an observation that i've been pondering for some time now and i feel i should share it with you guys please so no be query let's just be realistic and make our own findings or should i say survey let's reason together but from my own opinion i believe that in the next 200 to 400 years the white race will become the minority in the world especially europe and america you know the lord said when men were sleeping the enemy so ties so by the time you wake up your crops have been covered with ties because you were sleeping and the englishman will say wake up and smell the coffee let the white man wake up and smell the coffee to be sure if it is really coffee or tea in disguise. I'll prove it to you with just common sense. Just stay tuned. Watch this video to the end before you blast me. We know that for America, for Europe, Asia or even Africa to grow from the population it was 100 years ago to the normal we are today, it means that couples were having children that were more than two because the couple comprises of a man and a woman. So if these two people give birth to only two children, it means they are only replacing themselves. So if all the couples in the world give birth to only two children each, it means that the population will remain the same for a long time now? Yes, I know someone will say the two children will also give birth to their own children, thereby increasing the population. Not if the two children also give birth to two children each. Because a couple is made up of two people, man and a woman which means the two children will also make only one couple and also giving birth to two children. That is how grandchildren is also replacing the children. So at the end of the day, the family number remains the same all the way. So that proves the point that this generation might not replace itself. Couple used to have more than two children. In Africa, till now, we still have some families that have up to six, seven and eight children. My mom gave birth to seven of us. So out of that couple came five extra children after replacing themselves with the first two children. But a lot has changed in our world today. Now we have homosexualism. Men marrying men, women marrying women. Meaning such couples won't have children because men don't get pregnant and women don't impregnate themselves. Besides, even the couple that are man and woman self, the average number of children that they want to have is less than two. That is either only one child or some self, they don't even want children at all. Good. Now let's take these three family sets. One gay marriage, one lesbian marriage, and one straight marriage. If you bring them together, that is six people. Now the gay couple and the lesbian couple, that is four individuals. And as we stated, these two marriages won't have kids. Meaning when they die, there will be no one to replace them. They have been wiped out of the face of the earth without replacement. Then the straight marriage give birth to only one child. This means when these two people die, only one person replaces them. So if you take all these people, six people giving birth to one, even if the straight couple give birth to three children, it still doesn't meet up the number. So for every generation, only between 16% to 33% of the population that will be left if this trend continues. Instead of them to even adopt children, they prefer to adopt the cats and dogs. They prefer pets more than children. The average age of humans today is between 60 and 85 years, that is 72 years. The population of America as of 2020 was 331 million people, approximately. 16% of that 331 million people gives you 53 million people, approximately, and 33% of that population gives you 109 million, approximately. If this trend continues like this, within the next 150 to 400 years, you know what will become of that race. Any human race that cannot replace itself will vanish with time. We haven't even taken into consideration those who don't get married and who don't have kids. These are the same people that have legalized abortion, meaning some people that will have been part of that population have been eliminated legally. Your own parent gave birth to 5 kids, 8 kids. The least number of kids those days were 4 children. But today, any lady out there, if you ask them, they will tell you they just want one baby just so that people will not mock them that they don't have children. So the population is shrinking. Guess who will take over everything about Europe and America? The Islamic nations. Because even if a Muslim doesn't have a good job, he can still give birth to up to four, five kids and more. Even if a Muslim man is permitted to marry up to four wives, 
That is why Islam is the fastest growing population in the world. Though. Yes, you know there was a time America used to offer American visa lottery. So they have been populated by foreigners. Also, due to war in most of these Islamic countries, a lot of them have resettled in America and Europe. Please don't get me wrong, bro. I have nothing against any Muslim or Islamic nations. Some of the people that work with me are Muslim, some of my friends are Muslims too. I'm just trying to illustrate the issue on ground. If things continue the way they are, in the next 400 years, the Islamic nations will be the ones in charge of America, Europe and so on. Because they have started migrating there already and they are positioning themselves. By the time you become the minority in your own land, you will be shocked that foreigners will be the one that will be winning election in your own fatherland because they are larger in population. And you know what that means? You know, if you physically live in America for up to two and a half years, you are qualified to apply for citizenship. And once you become a citizen, you have the right to vote and to be voted for. So it means that when the foreigners' population become plentier than the population of the indigents themselves, they can vote them out of office and foreigners will become the ones that will be dictating affairs of the nation. We are not trying to exaggerate any situation here. This is exactly what will happen if America and Europe continue to engage in the same-sex marriage and even the ones that have the normal marriage refuse to replace themselves by having fewer number of children or no children at all. Even in Nigeria itself, some people have started having only two children. Some self, it's only one. Africa is still far better. In Africa, some families still have up to three or four children. And when those people will say economy is harsh, you need to give birth to the number of children that you can take care of. But it's Africa that is supposed to be worried about that. But in the West, where education is still free up to high school, and some have health insurance and all of that, you can get mortgage and other loans very easy. Who should worry less about taking care of children? Let anyone that has common sense pass this message to them. Let them use their tongue to count their teeth. Use your common sense to do the mathematics for yourself. Don't let your selfish and immoral decision wipe away your generation out of extinction. But it's your decision. Make it for yourself. Why some animals in the forest witnessed extinction was because while the hunters were hunting them down, the few ones that were left couldn't replenish their population. That's what will happen to any human race too if they begin to have less number of children than the adult population. We cannot come and go and kill ourselves. They say what is enough for the wise. Until we come your way again next Saturday at 7 a.m. with another Ogbonge episode of Taco TV. Stay blessed and enjoy your weekend. Mm, mm, sorry, weekend. I mean weekend, though, not weekend. Not like I am saying my uncle is wicked though. You know that.